Welcome back. Now, many women are worried about working out while they are with child. But overall, and in most cases, exercise is perfectly safe during pregnancy. So I'm joined now by Aoife McNeil, who's a strength and conditioning coach, to discuss pregnancy and postnatal personal training. That's even hard to say. You're very welcome to the show, Aoife. And we're admiring your beautiful studios uh, behind you there. So, um, it's, first of all, it's lovely to chat to you. If people, if a woman finds out now that she's pregnant, it's such an exciting time. And it's also a time, I guess, when a lot of people are offering all sorts of nuggets of wisdom and old wives' tales. And exercise is one of those sort of hot potatoes. So you have huge experience, um, practical. You're uh, an Olympic weightlifter. You've, uh, you're doing a master's in strength and conditioning. You are not just plucking these answers out of the sky. So um, the first thing I'll ask you straight up, is it safe to exercise while you're pregnant? Of course it is. Um, as you say, there are so many di different bits of information out there. It's so difficult. So many women come to me first and say, I I've started searching online and then I have to stop because there's just so much information. It is absolutely safe. It's not only safe, it's recommended. If you have a look at the what the HSE are saying, what the NHS in the UK, the OBS and gynae bodies in the US and Canada, all over the world, they're all saying exercise and to exercise for about 150 minutes a week which if you break it down might be 30 minutes over five days so you might go monday tuesday wednesday have a break on thursday go friday saturday and have a break on sunday let's start then with somebody who's maybe just found out they're pregnant and they don't exercise and some people say exercise and other people say oh don't change anything now or you'll, you'll you know you'll only make yourself unwell like, where who do they believe what do they do um, it is it is so difficult and the one thing that's really important for anyone who as you say has recently found out they're pregnant or is even maybe as far along as 25 or 30 weeks and wondering god should I do something would I like to start something I kind of feel like I'm ready to move again a lot of people are nauseous at the start and then want to move the thing to remember is while you've got all these people telling you different things no matter what class you go to or gym or type of class or studio you go to every teacher and every um business that's offering any type of fitness is going to treat it in a slightly different way. So once you can sort of approach it with that mindset and think, okay, what are these guys doing? Does that sound right for me? Is what they're saying, does what they're saying make sense? Can they explain why they're doing it? Then that means it's safe to do. If you've got someone who's qualified in prenatal training, it's absolutely recommended to exercise. Um, so it's go and do it. Just be mindful of it, you know, do, do your research. So it strikes me, Aoife, that I know in the past I've been in classes and the instructor will say, is there anyone here who's pregnant? And, you know, I imagine there's people who are newly pregnant going, oh, I don't want to say because I'm only a couple of weeks. But it's and I know we're not quite at the stage of having large classes yet, but it is obviously really important to flag with someone, be it an online class or an in-person class, that you are pregnant at whatever stage. Absolutely. We, um, so in our gym here, what we do is, even, even if somebody is, sometimes somebody will come to me and say, if I'm five weeks pregnant, and nobody knows with them and their partner, which is a lot to take on, a lot that, you know, I appreciate their trust in me, um, but you absolutely need to speak to the coach in advance and let them know. And it may be a situation where nothing in the class needs to change for you on that day, considering what's in the class, but it's so important that they know, even just from a safety point of view, if something were to happen to you in the class. And then if the coach, if it, if it is a class that something might need to be adjusted for you, which is the case in many classes, the coach will either be able to say to you, okay, A, B, C is going to be different for you. Um, they make sure you're comfortable, you know what you're doing for those exercises. Or they say, look, this class isn't suitable for you now. Um, hopefully, here's something that would be good for you or here's something I can recommend. But always make sure that the teacher, the coach, whoever it is, knows that you're pregnant. So I guess if you're maybe a bit shy about announcing to the whole class that you're pregnant, maybe just run up to them beforehand and say, Psst, I haven't told anyone, but I'm pregnant. So just wink at me when you don't need me to do things. Um, you know, I'm wondering about people, I'm sure there's women watching this who are thinking, exercise in the first trimester. I spent my time, you know, been incredibly tired and nauseous and maybe vomiting and not able to hold down anything. Should they still exercise? Yeah, the, the thing with first trimester is a lot of a lot of times when when clients potential clients come to me first, they're sort of saying, "Hi, I'm 14 weeks pregnant. I'm just about feeling ready to go again. I'm just about feeling okay again." Um, and for some people, they're fine. There is no nauseous, not nausea. There is their their energy is okay. 
and they can't keep going and doing what they're doing. It's just about being safe and not putting yourself in dangerous situations. Whereas two years beforehand or even six weeks beforehand, you might have been a bit braver and a bit, you know, putting yourself out there. And um, things like the typical ones are don't go scuba diving, don't go downhill mountain biking. Um, so it's just about, it's, it's, a, it's a little, I don't want to say just using your head because it is a very, very difficult time to navigate all of these new options for yourself. Um, but it is a time to find a, find a class that suits you and works for you. And in that first 12 weeks, go with how you're feeling on the day. So if, you, if you're, you might, find, you might find that two weeks ago, for a lot of us, we walk into a gym and our, our brain switches from, I'm not at work anymore, great, I'm in the gym. And they go in their gym mindset. Um, but it's during pregnancy, first trimester and further on, it's about, all right, how do I feel today? What's going to be good for my health, for the health of the baby, rather than having performance goals of, I want to do more push-ups, I want to do one push-up. Yeah. Does that make, does that? You no, know, it completely does. And I'm laughing when you're saying, you know, if you're pregnant, don't go scuba diving and uh, don't play, was it tag rugby or something? Like, I've never been, nor will I be pregnant, and I will still never scuba dive. The prospects just make me shiver. Um, a lot of people might think, well, I've never gone to a gym and it's probably all lifting weights and I don't want to end up looking like a bodybuilder. But there's so much to be gained, I guess, during pregnancy. I mean, the body is changing by all accounts a huge amount. Uh, what would be the main reasons for doing a little bit of weight bearing exercise, let's say? Um, I've been doing weight bearing exercise. It's brilliant for your, even if it's body weight, you're adding in a five kilo, a five kilo say goblet when you hold something out your chest that way. Even if it's something light like that, or if it is body weight, it's great for strengthening your hips, strengthening your legs. The more we can work your core muscles and use your core muscles, even though they're under a massive amount of stress as the pregnancy progresses, that will help to manage low back pain because the, the strength here manages our, um, I suppose manages our pain there, manages, manages our comfort there and our ability to manage the pregnancy. And then strengthen our upper body in our, you know when you do a row when you squeeze your shoulder blades together, that also helps to manage any potential low back pain and helps to keep us nice and upright during a time when we're more likely to pull this way. You know that, that typical desk pull that you get and you sort of need to bring yourself up. So just things like shoulder strength as well is brilliant. Our shoulders move in so many different ways. And after, once the baby's born, we're going to, we spend so much time with the baby on the shoulder. Yep. We'll typically um, hold the baby on the right or on the left. We'll, ha we'll have a side and, and the other side we will suffer. <laughs> yeah. Pardon? Tell me, uh, tell me then a little bit about. Let, let's move lower down to the pelvic region. This is something that uh, women, pregnant or not, are very conscious of. But particularly during pregnancy, are there particular exercises that you might do while you're pregnant, and then equally maybe postnatally? Yeah, absolutely. So I think a lot of us have heard of Kegels or um, squeezes and maybe know a little bit, maybe know a lot. Um, the pelvic floor is the muscles that sit under our torso. So we've got, say, like if you think about like a corset of muscles in our abs as we were six pack, those ones at the front, but then the abdominal muscles wrap all the way around. We've got our diaphragm across the top and our pelvic floor muscles are like the bottom of that lovely core cylinder that sits all together. So that's involved in breathing. And those pelvic floor muscles are under a lot of stress as the pregnancy progresses. And whether we have a natural birth or a C-section, um, they're under stress. It's not a case of, oh, well, I had a C-section, so my pelvic floor is fine. Likely to be less trauma, but still likely to be affected um, by the pregnancy. So it's great to get those exercises in. And there's a couple of apps that are really good. There's one called Squeezy by the NHS, um, which is literally Squeeze E. Um, and that one brings you through every day some sort of a quick holds and releases yeah. and then shorter, um, sorry, longer holds and, short, and longer releases as well. I, I guess so sometimes it's, it's, yeah, I guess sometimes it's just being aware of it and then like that, I guess, having a little reminder along the way uh, to remind you to do these exercises. Aoife McNeil, thank you so much. I'm sure there's a lot of women watching this who are pregnant or people who know pregnant women thinking this is brilliant. We'll pass on the advice. We'll watch it back on the player. Thank you so much. Lovely to talk to you. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. So time for a quick break. When we come back, we have problems, all of them, but we have our agony aunt, Tina. She's going to lend her advice for us after the break. Don't go anywhere.